Hey, what is going on YouTube? Hey, Aaron here, we are back on the Mac. We were actually editing a video in between training sessions here, so if you hear some, some weights banging in the, the background, that is your daily reminder to get to the gym. But we have a new ship spotted in live server testing, or AI, I guess. I'm not sure why they blurred out their name. Maybe this person went into a game by mistake. But the Tier 8 Agger is now up on the chopping block, ladies and gentlemen. That is potentially the next campaign ship. We have no idea. It is a Tier 8. The Tier 7 Constellation was spotted. I don't think the Constellation is going to be uh, the campaign. I think it's going to be the Agger. But uh, hopefully not, because the Agger is another German battlecruiser. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why Wargaming is obsessed with throwing these ships constantly at us. We just got the Pomeran. The Odin, the Brandenburg, the Schlieffen, the, the GK. Like, I get it. People like these ships. They're very popular. And honestly, I think this one is going to be pretty good, you know, when it enters the game, if it does. But I I'm just tired of German campaigns. <laughs> Again, we don't know if it's the campaign. Uh, so, you know, hold your, you know, hold your sensationalism for, for another. Well, you know, we'll, we'll make another video if it is. But... Um, I'm just going to go over the stats here. You guys can make your own assumptions, but it has 305 millimeter guns. This is kind of the sister ship to the Siegfried, um, but hopefully a lot better. It, you know, at tier eight, uh, it, it should get its 27 millimeter plating that it has, uh, and it has nine guns as opposed to six. So the AB, you know, X or AB Y, I think it's AB X. AB Y, I'm not sure. One of my historian ship nerds is going to tell me the gun layout, but it's AB and then one turret in the back there with three guns on each. So. Uh, what is the reload time here? 20 seconds, so I'm guessing with the, you know, moderate build, you probably, we could throw that down to maybe 15, 15, 16, I bet. Uh, so, you know, decent. Uh, three or fives are, are, are pretty powerful. I was reading a little bit about the performance here, and they said that the AP is pretty good. Um, the deck is all right. It has some good turtle back here, but you will be getting penned by a lot of the higher caliber uh, battleships at the tier, which is kind of obvious, but, you know, that's just going to be those chunky penetrations, full penetrations. Um you know, you, you probably want to be at mid-range with this thing. It's It's got some decent speed. 880 is not the best turning circle, and I'm sure Hipper will anti that rudder, but 14 seconds is not not great as well. Also, surface detectability right off the bat is, is pretty bad, but they do adjust detectability and concealment for, for legends. Um, we do have the standard German torpedoes, 2x4, uh, 6, you know, 65 knot speed, 6 km. Isn't it 67? I don't know. It's it's the same uh, standard German torpedoes that they put on everything except for the sh the Schlieffen, I think, or the or the battle cruisers. Um, but beyond that, it looks like a, a, a you know it looks like a fun ship. If you're new to the game, it would be a fun ship. But if you know for us veterans, we've seen so many of these ships uh, of similar classes that it's just like okay, we're gaming. Can we get some variety? You know, like yes, it's a cruiser designation, but we just had the Palmer with the three eighties at the tier like. Um, the, the, the good news about this is it has good main battery traverse speed and shell velocity. Uh, I, I also read in there that it has decent accuracy, you know, that, <laughs> that will, uh, pinpoint accuracy as the Iwami, you know, but, uh, how many battle cruiser battleship types, you know, brawling are we, are we going to get? Um, I don't know, but it has the hydroacoustic research as well. So good for that. And it says good concealment when fully upgraded. We'll, we'll see about that. The cons, extremely poor HE damage, which kind of makes sense. German German HE wall does have quarter pen if you don't have that fast reload. Um, it, you know, not, not the best HE. Main poor uh, or bad main battery firing angles. So, you know, kiting will be kiting will be uh, situational, I guess. Torpedoes are short-ranged. Duh. Large bow section is 27. So it says 27 here, but they did nerf the Siegfried to 25 or 26, I believe. I don't know. Some people are like, well, it's actually 25.3 in the comments when 25 or 26 doesn't really matter either way, I don't think. Because 25 can bounce 14s. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to say something wrong, and they're going to be like, whoa, 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 in, in the comments. So let me know what the Siegfried bow is. I think it's 26. But anyway, the deck armor is 30 millimeters at the thickest, so vulnerable to large caliber, large caliber overmatch and HE spam. So uh, Republic, Musashi, Yamato... I think that's really it. We don't really have that much more large caliber overmatch uh, in, in Legends yet, but large turning circle, which we kind of mentioned, and sluggish rudder. So has battleship timers. Ooh, that's going to be a huge problem, especially in Legends. I mean, the HE spam is prevalent, um, but maybe they will adjust it. I think they adjusted Stalingrad's to like 45 instead of 60 maybe, or 115. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but what that means is you won't, you, you know, you'll have a, longer timers obviously on your floods and fires as opposed to the cru cruiser timers which is, is lower 
Um, but other than that, guys, this is it. So hopefully, again, I really hope it's not. No other ships have been spotted yet besides the Constellation that we know. Um, am I missing anything? Oh, what are the secondaries? Hold on. Okay, AA defense. Where is it? Secondary armament. Yeah, so, okay, so eight, seven, eight kilometers base there. 795 base. Uh, so... Hopefully they don't nerf it down to Legends versions. I bet they will, though. Mark my words, I bet they will. Um, you know, you can never have fun with these things. But honestly, you don't really want to be specking everything into secondaries for a cruiser. You know, just play the just play the Palmer or the the Prince Ruprecht or you know the Schlieffen. Um, a lot of people always just want the meme builds to work, and it's you know you'll you'll clickbait. It's like meme build Riga, you know, gameplay, and it's like you did forty thousand damage, and people are like awesome. <laughs> Instead of like learning the game principles, like ah, don't lose this cap, don't don't, uh, yeah. But anyway, that is the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you guys think. Are you excited? Are you not? Uh, I honestly wanted this ship over the Palmer, but we got the Palmer instead. And yeah, so I'm I'm guessing it'll be pretty mid. Uh, if it is the next campaign, I, I, you know, we'll always play it. We'll always give it a try. And hopefully there's some more ships on the horizon. Uh, this, this last update was a little light in terms of content, but yeah, there it is guys. Go out and get it today. A run out. Peace.